In this video, we're going to go through the Lifter LMS coupon and voucher systems, what the differences are, and how you can use each of them. So you can find the systems by heading to orders on the sidebar, and you can see coupons and vouchers here. I don't have any created yet, uh, but we can see uh, here we can head to those two places where we can add a coupon and a voucher. So the differences are uh, with a coupon, you're going to use it on an access plan. So Lifter LMS uses access plans in order to enroll uh, users in courses and memberships and coupons can give you a discount on those access plans, whereas a voucher is used in open registration to go around the, uh, the checkout process with an access plan and just enroll people in courses without paying. So vouchers can come in handy if you're selling many seats in a course to a company. You can like export a spreadsheet file and then send them all of those voucher codes. So let's jump in. So to the coupon system, we can add a coupon here I'll add a coupon, we can call it uh, save uh, 50. So the title of your coupon is actually gonna be the coupon that's used. Uh, we can say this is gonna be percentage or dollar discount. We can say which if it can be used on one-time payment access plans or recurring access plans, all sorts of options there. I'll just make this one a 50% coupon. Uh, and then we are not gonna use trial pricing, but if you'd like to enable this, you can say um, that you can specify a specific amount of a trial price that um, that customers get off. So if you'd like to have, uh, like if you have a dollar trial, for example, uh, you can opt to not use it on a dollar trial, or maybe it gives you a different discount, or maybe 100% off of that dollar trial, if you want to use that. Uh, we can set restrictions, so it can only be used on these courses or these memberships. We can set an expiration date and usage limit. I don't need those for now, and I'm not going to use a description. Uh, but this is all I need, percentage, 50%, we can publish that. So uh, what I'll do now is head into an access plan I had already created in a course. Uh, I created one in this uh, investing sample course. It's, I believe, a $100 access plan. So let's scroll down here and grab the purchase link for that. You can see it's a basic access plan, $100 off one-time payment, or $100 one-time payment. So I'll copy that link address, head over into an incognito window, and look at it from a customer's perspective. Uh, now I can see, click here to add coupon, I'll add a save 50, apply coupon, and there we go. We have $50 off of this course here, and that's how the coupon system works. Let's jump into vouchers. So the voucher system works with open registration, so what we're going to want to do is make sure open registration is enabled. And um, you can also do it with a registration shortcode, but I'll just do it this way to make it a little simpler. So if I head to the student dashboard page when I'm not logged in, we can see we should just have the login form. But if we head to the Lifter LMS settings on the back end and head to the account settings, we can enable open registration. That should be near the bottom here. There we go, open registration. So I'd like to enable this and I can choose which uh, fields I'd like to ask for. Uh, first and last name, address, and phone number are hidden, and then a voucher code is required. So that looks good for me, so I'll save that, and now I should see the registration form on my student dashboard page here. So now a users can register and put in a voucher code, but we can also go in here and create a voucher code by heading to orders and vouchers, and what I'll do is add a voucher code, and so I'll use the example I said before about um, giving voucher codes to a company or selling them. So it's like company X vouchers. And then I can say which courses this is going to enroll them in. I can select multiple courses if I'd like, and I can also select multiple memberships. So uh, this is the real difference here is we can add multiple codes with multiple uses. Uh, what I'll do here is add one code with 25 uses per code. So this uh, code can be used 25 times, and I can change what this code is. So we can say um, registration code one, and we'll actually want this to be one word here. And I can also add maybe 25 codes with one use each if you wanted to do it that way instead, where you just have a bunch of codes. And Lifter LMS makes it really easy to uh, export this in a CSV file. If you want to send just a spreadsheet with a bunch of the codes to the company, you can um, send this as well. And you can also email it directly out of here. Uh, but I'll just X out of most of these voucher codes because I don't need them at the moment. I'll just leave the one that has 25 uses here, registration code one. And I can update this. 
And now uh, someone can go to my open registration page and use this code to get into these two courses for free. So let's see, I'll copy this, head over here, I do have a voucher code, and then I'll just fill out the rest of this information here. And copy that, put that here. Awesome, awesome, there's my name. And now I can agree to my terms and register. So now I should be enrolled in those two courses as my test account here. Awesome, awesome. So now I've enrolled in these two courses and that's how the voucher code system works. This has been Will Middleton. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.